Hello, I'm Robert, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a low poly sword in Blender. So, I'm going to start off by deleting my scene, and I want to add screencast keys so you know what I'm doing. So, I'm going to spawn a cube, rotate this on the Y 45 degrees, I'm going to edit mode and scale down on the Z. So, we can start working on our blade. So, I'm going to select this edge, sorry, that face, and I want to Remove that. I want to extrude again. And if we hit Alt M, we're going to be able to merge those vertices. So we pretty much have our our blade looking pretty cool. And I want to actually scale this down on the X. So it just looks kind of nicer. I want to make a cube so we can start working on the handle. To uh, scale this on the uh, Z. Scale this down on the Y, and let's make this longer on the X. And that seems to be a little bit not too thick. Surely we should make our our sword less thick, just like that. And with this other piece selected, I want you going to edit mode, make a loop cut, move that back. Then I want you to grab these other edges and just place them just like that. So I want to center my cursor as I accidentally clicked somewhere else and you can do that by pressing shift C. And I want to add another cube, scale this down and scale on the Y. And I would want to make a sort of bottom. So what I'm going to do is to select this face and instead of doing another square I want you to press E to extrude sorry E and don't move your mouse and scale and now we want to do another extrude and scale down so that looks pretty cool you can obviously do your own designs for well pretty much the whole sword and well we already have our body and I would I want to do actually some further changes to make this look much nicer. I want to make kind of like dents to show that this sword is old. That it's been used. So we're going to vertice mode so we can actually see the vertices. And by the way, this is called the knife tool. It's very useful for these kind of things. And we'll fill in those faces later. I'm going to finish off making some, I want you to make some more dents. You don't want to obviously do a billion, just a couple. I normally add two small ones on one side and one bigger one on the other, because I feel like that looks pretty cool. So I want you to go on this side and I want you to make a bigger one around here. So I'm going to get my knife tool again. And do some bigger triangles. Now we want to go into face select mode. And we're going to actually no, we want the edge select mode. And we're going to start by making those faces. So what I'm doing is filling in with the letter F. Oops, actually these um, vertices seem to look very strange. So I want to move those. I want to actually center those. So I want to scale on the Y zero and that pretty much centers them. And we should actually do that with those other vertices as well. So scale Y zero. So those seem to be aligned. Uh, these are not. There we go. So we have some dents, which look very nice. And I want you to go into Cycles Render and start making some materials. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm a bit sick today. So what I'm going to do is go into material mode. 
and with this object selected I want to make a kind of bluish dark tone kind of like dark steel and I'm going to make another material for this this will be very dark brown actually that's a bit too dark uh, actually that looks nice and to do the materials for this I want to do uh, it's actually pretty basic um, I want to make another material and I want to use that material to make the actual handle so I want to make another material press new select color and I want a lighter color than what I already have just like that and I want to select the faces that we want to change the material to. So I want to select the other material and press assign. If, and you can see that we've changed it and it doesn't look very well with the other color. So I want to change how it looks. And that seems to work pretty well. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, anything you want to share, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.